Kiki, and I am back here again talking about problem solving. It's something that we just wrestle with. I see so many people wrestling with it. So I really wanted to look at how you can use digital tools to help address some of the problem types. So we're going to look at compare problems. So there's, remember, when you're doing compare problems, there's only three kinds. You're either looking for the bigger part, the smaller part, or the difference. So, so that's the first part to know and to think about. Am I looking for the bigger part, the smaller part, or the difference? And you start off by teaching kids the difference. And when you're looking at difference, you're looking either for more or you're looking for less, right? So, and remember when you're looking for more, it's easier than when you're looking for less. So I would just start off with stories. John had five marbles. Mike had seven marbles. How many more marbles does Mike have than John? Then I can also ask how many fewer marbles does John have than Mike? I could also ask an even up question. How many more marbles would John need to have the same amount of marbles that Mike has? I can go down here because this is the fun part. I can pull up new icons and I can tell butterfly stories. There were six butterflies on the flower, blue butterflies on the flower. And then there were 10 butterfly, 10 yellow butterflies on the flower. Now, what I like about the double tin frame, notice that's what I'm using to model, is the double tin frame. You can put, you know, a, a larger amount and the kids can actually see it rather than having the stacked tin frame. So I like, I like both the tin frames, but I like the double tin frame um, that is horizontal in this way when I'm doing compare problems. So I can say there were six blue butterflies, there were ten yellow foot butterflies, how many more yellow butterflies were there than blue? I can say how many fewer blue butterflies were there than yellow? I can also ask that even up question. How many more blue butterflies would I need to have the same amount as I do of yellow? So I can use this tin frame, this double tin frame, to tell those types of problems. I can also model it on a wreck and wreck. And when I'm modeling it on the wreck and wreck, and I'm in first grade, I'm going to use two um, stra strands, and I'm going to use uh, the top and the bottom. So Mackenzie had seven marbles, and Lola had four. How many more marbles did Mackenzie have than Lola? How many fewer marbles did Lola have than Mackenzie. How many marble? How many more marbles would Lola need to have the same amount as Mackenzie? So I can model that on the wreck and wreck, right? Remember when you're problem solving, you always want to have more than one way. So I can do it another way. I can pull up the number line. Now this I would go and do later because this is more abstract. So I would do. Mackenzie has seven marbles, and Lola has five. How many more marbles does Mackenzie have than Lola? And I could pull this up, and I could write up here, because this is Mackenzie, and this is Lola, and I'm looking for the difference. How many more marbles does Mackenzie have how many fewer marbles does Lola have? How many more marbles would Lola need to have the same amount as Mackenzie? Three types of problems. They're all compare. They're all different. I can ask a more question. I can ask a less question, a fewer than question, and I can ask an even up question. So that's the first level when you're talking about types of comparison problems. And this is a double number line. Fosnet taught us how to use this, basically. She talked a lot about it in her books. Um, so that's compare, difference unknown, and those are three different ways to model it. 
happy mathing. Check out the blog. Check out drnickynewton.com. I have a lot of problem-solving resources. Check out my book on K-2 problem-solving in action. And do those word problems. Learn those types and teach them to your kids. Bye.